So if any of you guys have the kids green tractors like this, you know just as well as I do that these trailers are straight trash. If you put anything more than like a blade of grass in it, it falls apart, the wheels fall off. Not good. This red one actually isn't too bad. So what I'm gonna try and do today is our trailer that we broke a few videos ago, straight broken apart. I'm basically just gonna salvage the wheels off of that one and build my own trailer. Something that's more sturdy, a little more heavy duty. I don't wanna get it too heavy though because then the tractor's gonna struggle to pull it. But at least something where we can put maybe a hay bale or something on top of it and it won't just break and fall apart. It is the most frustrating thing in the world when we're trying to have fun doing all these things and the trailer just keeps breaking. So let's grab that trailer, take the wheels off of it and hopefully we can get something cool built for that tractor. So what I'm kind of leaning towards doing is uh, salvaging these wheels and probably making a kind of flatbed, something where we could put a hay bale on it. I don't know if I'll do the railing on the side because that just kind of interferes if you want to put bigger things on there or stuff like that. So I think we salvage these wheels, construct a flatbed of some sort, maybe make the flooring wood to try and save some weight and not do metal. Um, so let's do that. Let's take these wheels off and then we'll go from there. Gonna salvage that seat because you never know what we'll need that for. There's a lot of things we could use a seat for, so I'm gonna keep that. And the wheels. Everything else is kind of trash. Okay, so, so far, these are kind of just really little lawnmower tires you could get at most just local like little hardware uh, stores in case you want to do this yourself at home. So we got two little, these are probably little push lawnmower tires. They're pretty cheap. Got a half inch rod that we went through the middle and it fits perfect. Also much stronger than what we used last time. So I think what's next is I'm gonna build a flat platform to weld on. Cause you can hold this seal and it still rolls. Just don't tighten these too much or your wheel won't have any freedom. Weld something on here to keep it flat and that'll kind of be the base of the trailer, build something up, put our flatbed, and then put a neck on the front of it to attach to their kids' tractors. But uh, let's weld a little flat piece of metal on here first. I think that's the first thing to do. So I'm gonna add this angle iron to the axle, just like so, so I can build the bed for the trailer. I'll have some stuff cut up here, and then the angle iron on the front, so I can have an attachment here to hold all the weight, because I wanna be able to put square bills and all sorts of stuff on here. So there's a few different ways that I can do this. I have the angle iron now welded onto the base of the trailer. So here's Holly's tractor right here next to it. My original thought was I was gonna raise this up and put the bed of the trailer about right here. But the difference in the current trailer and the tractor is not that much. I'm thinking about just making it flat and attaching a tongue to the back of the trailer. It'll keep it kind of really low to the ground. That might be better for the kids in a way I think if we just give the angle iron just a slight angle, we'll put a flatbed on with a tongue, and I think it'll be perfect. I, like I said, I was gonna raise it up, put the trailer bed up here, uh, bring it like a foot and a half off the ground, but I think making it a low rider might be the better option. So I think this is the route we're gonna take. So we got the base of the trailer here. It's pretty sturdy, which I'm proud of. I want it to be really sturdy. I don't want it to break. I hate stuff breaking um, when we're trying to have fun. I think the next step, Measure out how big we want it, probably about right here, come out to about right here or so. Make a flat bed. We'll put flat iron around, just like so. And then we'll probably drill some holes and attach plywood to it. And then basically the tra tractor's finished. And then on the flat iron up front, we'll add a little tongue that'll attach to the back of the tractor. That's pretty much it. It's actually really, really easy. So let's measure all this out, get it cut out, weld the bracket on there, and then it'll look like a trailer. So two foot long would be from here to here. I don't know if y'all can see all of that, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. A little two foot trailer should be enough. I think that's what we're gonna go with. We'll go with, actually we'll do 26 inches. So let's go cut out two 26 inch pieces and let's get the frame started. Okay, so we got our two pieces. These will be the pieces that go like so on the trailer. So I'm gonna be a little proactive here. And the way I'm gonna attach the wood to this is I'm gonna drill two holes on both of them. Right here and right here, right here and right here. And that'll be two spots where you attach the wood to. It's much easier to do it now on the drill press than do it after I already have the bracket welded. So let's go ahead and drill these holes. 
So we got the bracket built. Like I said, these were 26 inches long, long way. Drilled holes, that'll be where the wood attaches. It's upside down. So when I flip it, the holes will be on top. Um, these were 14 inches long. I'm gonna weld this together and then we'll weld the frame onto the axle frame. And they're basically finished and then I'll create a tongue up front, but let's get this welded together. Weld it together, I tacked it on these little spots because it was hard for me to hold and do while trying to record. So I just tacked it on. But that looks like about how it's gonna sit. This will be the back. And then we'll attach a tongue to the front here. Um, but let's weld it on to the axle frame from our real frame. Weld that little pieces together, maybe a little bit under it. Cause like I wanna be able to carry some heavy stuff. So, so far I've been doing some pretty good welds on it. So it should hold together. So here's the frame and the base of the trailer. It looks pretty good to me. It's got a slight tilt to the back, which I think is fine. Um, it doesn't quite meet up to the hitch of the tractor. So what I'm gonna do, cause I got a little piece right here. This will be what attaches to the trailer. And I'm gonna put, as you see, we got about two and a half inches here. I'll have to make a little drop that I'll weld to this also. So it'll kind of come up, do a 90, and that's what will be attached to here. That'll be our tongue for the trailer. We get that welded on. Only thing that's left is to cut out our wood and uh, screw it in there. But before I do that, I'm going to paint this green, make it look nice and pretty, and then, uh, then we'll put that wood on there. So next up is let's get these pieces welded together. Let's get the little 90 welded onto this piece and then welded onto here. All right, so we got a lot of welding on today's project. We're almost finished with the welding though. One last piece, let me show you what you've got. Okay, so I welded the hitch that'll go to the back of the trailer. I welded the 90, I still gotta weld it to the trailer, but that is about how it's gonna sit. I think it'll be pretty good. I know it's just really quickly thrown together, but the kids will love it because they can do so much more with this stuff. So I measured out 15 by 25 is what I want my wood. Oh look, here one, perfect. So I cut this one out to the right size. Now I'm just gonna get some pencils, mark the holes where they will be, drill the holes through, put some bolts in it, tighten it all together, and it should be good to go. So now let's drill these holes, go ahead and get it all tied up. Okay, so here we have it, the new trailer for the kids. I think they'll like it. It's nothing special, but it's good enough, it's sturdy enough, and it's strong enough where I think it can hold just about anything we wanna do on the farm. I didn't tighten that, so if I press on it, it's gonna do that. But I think this can hold a square bill very easily. All the big rocks we play with, all sorts of other stuff should be perfectly fine. You can go to the back of either of their tractors. Um, like I said though, nothing special. Didn't take me too long. Just kind of threw it together and made it work. I can add some railing if I think is beneficial, but we really just wanted something flat like this. And I wanted it really low like this. It makes it much easier for the kids to throw stuff on there, take stuff off. It's not so high, there's not railings preventing you from putting big, bigger stuff on there. So I think this is gonna be perfect. So that was the rundown on how I built the trailer. Really easy, like I said. I'm sure y'all can do it at home if you have a welder and a few of the various objects. Uh, let me know your thoughts. What should we build next? The mower is coming, I promise. The mower is coming. There's a bee in here, get out of here bee. But uh, it, it's just a lot of work, stuff getting set up. Um, so that'll probably be here in a few weeks or so we'll get we'll get going on that officially probably once we get into january it'll probably be whenever we do that so thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up if you could i would appreciate it it's free for you and it really does help us so uh, thank you for watching